Hi, I'm Dr. Adlin, and these exercises are for switching. Switching is something you can employ when you notice that you're having an unhelpful pattern or thought, and now you want to get out of it so that you can retrain that pattern or thought. And so use these techniques with an open mind. Remember that they are going to vary depending on who you are as an individual. So don't get caught up in the specifics. Um, if you want to spend a little bit more time doing one technique or a little less time, play with that. Be curious about that and find what really works for you. And you might have favorites and that might evolve over time and that's all okay. These techniques are really just to get you more in tune and into your body and have some agency over interrupting the patterns that have been historically in place. All right, here's your switching technique. All right, the first one is called push. So find a wall that you can press against. Stand up straight and push your hands up against a wall and let your whole body weight lean in as you bend your elbows to a degree that is comfortable for you. Stay here for up to 10 seconds. And then rest for a moment. Next, you're gonna push your hands up against the wall again and lean in. And this time, lift one knee towards your belly button and feel your core being engaged. Then go ahead and switch sides and bring the other leg up. Do this exercise up to five times and notice how you feel. Practice two is thumb circles. Extend your arms out in front of you with each hand in a thumbs up position. Then draw a circle to the right side of your body with one thumb while your eyes only, try not to move your head, follow the movement of the thumb. Repeat on the other side and do this pattern three times. Then you can repeat the whole exercise while bending your legs in a squat position. If you notice your head moving, just bring it back to center and focus on only moving your eyes. It gets easier with practice. Notice how you feel different. Practice three is finger to nose. Stand up and close your eyes. Touch your nose with one index finger while the other hand is extended out laterally. Repeat on the other side. Do this alternating sides for up to 30 times. Then you can repeat this whole exercise while standing on one leg and then the other leg, and you can alternate legs like I am. Notice how you feel different at the end. And finally, touch. 
This one's going to be for the feet. So stand up, take a deep breath, and take a moment to feel the contact of your feet with the floor. Then sit down and gently massage one foot for one minute. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Simply follow along. You can see where the bones are and find any tender places. You can use lotions or not. thinking about being loving, tender towards your feet. Feeling what they feel like. And then stand up and notice the difference between your feet, your legs, your shoulders, and even the way your rib cage feels on one side versus this side the other side as you breathe. When you're done, you can sit down again and gently massage the other foot for one minute. And at the end, stand up and notice how different the contact of your feet, the floor feels, as well as your legs, your shoulders, and how your rib cage feels as you breathe. You can also do this exercise with your arms by letting them be relaxed and hang and then massaging one arm and then the other and noticing how you feel different after that. So if you're in a place where you can't sit on the floor and you take your shoes off, then Doing the arms is also an effective choice. All right, those are our switching exercises and I hope that you find them helpful. Take care.